My people, my people, my people, what is going on? It's the wealthy guy here and welcome to my channel. I'm a men's style expert, custom clothier, and published photographer. On this channel, I talk about men's style, men's grooming, and my journey as an entrepreneur. And today, I am going to be talking about an experience that I had with black menswear in the Philly flash mob. So I'm going to be doing a review of the Philly flash mob. I'm going to show videos. I'm going to show some images and I'm going to tell you what my experience was like. You ready? Let's go. Okay, so like I said, today we're talking about the Philly flash mob. But before we get into that, make sure that you go and like, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell. Philly flash mob. So let me just give you some background before I get into it. So, Black Menswear is an Instagram page that highlights black men in suits and with their page what they do is they are trying to change the narrative of how people look at black men um and they're doing a great job at it and one of the things that they started were these flash mobs right so they started in dallas they had one in um, chicago they had one in dc and they came to Philly. So uh, DeAndre, who is the guy that runs Black Men's Wear, you know, he hit me up and he said, hey, we're coming to Philly. That's the closest that we're going to get to New York. So you should come down. That's all he had to say. I was like, I'm definitely in the building. Like, this is something that I don't didn't want to miss, right? And I saw the previous, you know, the previous flash mobs in the different cities, and I'm like, man, wow, all of these black men dressed in their suits just looking good and just like confident and like proud and just together like everything about it was just like yes i absolutely need to be there so i got my train ticket i booked me an airbnb and i was on my way so the evening before they had an event called dapper conversations and with dapper conversations um, it was bringing, you know, a group of guys together, blue, a group of black men together where we talked about black culture um, and changing the narrative of how people see us and what is our role in that. Um, so really good conversation sponsored by um, Hennessy um, and hosted by Damari Seville, which is a custom tailor in, in Philly. So it was awesome and it was a great way to kick off the next day, which would be the flash mob. So, boom, got ready in 90 degrees, 90 degrees outside, crazy, 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 crazy. I was just like, I know as soon as I get outside, I'm gonna like sweat. So I booked the Airbnb kind of close, Airbnb close to the, um, the Philadelphia Museum of Art, which is where we were like shooting the flash mob. Took my, took my Uber over there as soon as I step out the Uber. Boom, crazy, like it is so hot. But the adrenaline that I had at that moment when I like stepped out of the Uber and just saw all of my people just looking so good with their suits on. People were sweating though and I started sweating right away. Um, but even though that day was so hot, it was just like, you know what? This heat is not going to stop what we are going to do here today. And that is what happened. Like the heat didn't stop no show. Like people were like sweating through their suits, sweating through their shirts, just sweating period. Like thank goodness I had like my pocket square that day because that day usually I would not put a pocket square on my face. But thank goodness I had it that day because it was so hot. I would have looked really greasy in all of the pictures. But anyway, now I want to get into the video. So they put together, so all throughout the, the flash mob, as we were like shooting the different scenes, there were people capturing video. So they put together a video of you know, of the event. So little clips of, you know, everything that was kind of like going on that day. 
and the video actually premiered on Monday. So let's get into the video. I'm gonna talk about the video. So let's see. Boom. Hold on. Let me start it up right now. So, so boom. So it starts. You see the clouds. You see like the like the guy's pants and shoes. Everybody's walking. Everybody's just kind of standing there proud. Then there's like a scene. The the scene where we like throw up the fist. Man, like, I didn't get to see, you know, every other group as they were taking their pictures. I only, like, really saw the groups that I was with. But when I saw the video, I just had so many emotions from that day. Because even as I was, like, standing there, like, on the steps of the museum with, it, had, it was, like, over 60 guys. It just, like, the feeling was overwhelming. Like, people were stopping, people were, like, looking, people were, like, taking pictures, people were doing videos. Like, that weekend, there was, like, this big Kappa event, so there were, like, a lot of Kappas out there. So, but people, black people, white people, Asians, Latinos, everybody that was, like, stopping and, like, looking, they just were just, like, mesmerized by this sea of, like, black men it was just so 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 cool so okay i'm gonna run the video back let me run the video back break it down so clouds feet boom it's like we like an army in here like we are coming we are coming then there's those there's the fist then it's like you just see fists you just see all of these different flavors of like black men just dressed up in well-fitting suits and just walking just looking so strong like these are some of the individual shots of people and like those you know it was great as a group but i can't wait to also see the individual shots of people now in this part here when we were like holding hands that was like so so powerful like you know at first you know of course because it's a whole group of guys people like oh holding hands what's this but n really nobody like hesitated to do it because they knew what was going to be the impact of all of us there like holding hands i'm gonna run this video back one more time as i talk through it they knew what the impact would be of us holding hands through the you know in in, in that in that particular like image so everybody did that. Then we were like walking down the steps in unison. It was just really just a powerful moment. And like I said, all throughout it, I just felt overwhelmed with pride, with joy, with, I just had so many emotions, like so many positive emotions. Like, wow, one, I'm here experiencing this. This is actually a part of history. Um, and two, like, I'm here with, like, everyone. Um, all, all of these people. I met new people that day. I met people that I knew, you know, I spoke to on Instagram. But I met so many people that day. It was great. And, like, yeah, it's an experience that I will never, 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 never forget in my life. Okay. Let's move on to some of the images. So, iconic image from that Evening. Actually, let me move over a little bit so I can pull it up here. 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 Right here. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. All right. So, this is the iconic image that will be circulated. I promise you it's going to be circulated and circulated and certain. You're going to see this image for many, many, many years to come. All of us, like I said, over, I want to say it's closer to 80, but definitely over 60 black men, well-dressed black men in suits on the steps of the Philadelphia Museum of Art with the fist raised like this, strong, together. Like, it was just an amazing, amazing experience. Like, it's so many people, like, you can really see what the people in the front like have on but you don't really get to see the beauty of how dressed up everybody how dapper everybody everybody was that day everybody came out there with they sunday's best on clean it in the board of health 
Body bags needed because as soon as we walked through, everybody dropping dead. Boom, 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 dead. Like, it was amazing. It was amazing. I saw such unique styles. We were all dressed up, but no one out of all of those people, absolutely not one of us looked the same, but we all looked good. So I absolutely love this image of, you know, everybody together like this. It is an amazing image and it is one, like I said, that people are going to like see for a very, very long time. Like right now it's like etched in history. So the next image that I wanna talk about is, let me pull it up and it's gonna come up. I gotta get my, I gotta get my camera. Right, 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 right here, right here, right here. It's gonna come up right here. Um, so this image, man, listen, and, and I got big shout out to Grass Taken, right? So Grass Taken, they were in charge of all of the filming as well as the photography for the day. They did an amazing job at capturing everybody. Like, and, and it was definitely a task. It's difficult to photograph groups, big groups of people. And I think that they did an amazing job. This image right here though, what I love about this image right here is the front row as well as the back row, right? So let me just start with the front row. We got Men Style Pro right there in the front, front and center with his sunglasses on, with his like, with his hat, and he is just posed. To me, he like slayed this picture, all right? Then we got like the other guys there. And what I think is beautiful about this particular image is that it's, let me see, boom, it's six, it's 10 of us. Everybody's a different shape and size, a different shade. Everybody got that the, has their like own unique style. Like everybody really came to like bring it that day. But the front row, all the guys with their hats on, with their sunglasses, just looking just super, super cool. Like when I saw this image, I was just like, man, this is it right here. Like this, we look good. We all look like Bay. Um, and then with the second row, like everybody in the second row had on a shade of gray. Um, it was just like, man, like everybody is just like looking so good. And again, right, all different flavors, all different flavors of like black men in this one image. And we all look like strong and we all look like men and we all look like proud i just absolutely love 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 this image um okay now the next image is a little bit of a bigger group so we got seven in the back and then we got five seated again all shades of gray all shades of black men all sizes of black men I absolutely love this image. You know, what What I really love about it is you can't really see that it was 90 degrees. It, it was 90 degrees that day. And we all just look cool. We just all really look cool. And I love that about this particular image. It's, uh, again, right? All shades of gray, different ages. I like, it is just like an amazing image, right? Like, so let me see, we got a mixture of double-breasted suits as well as single-breasted suits in there, All right? Some guys have on their sunglasses. Let me see, everybody, boom, 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 boom. Almost everybody has on a pocket square, everybody's shoes on point, nice and either new looking or polished. Right, like this picture is, 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 you know, when I saw it, I was like, man, we look good. We absolutely look good. So I am so glad that I invested like the money, one, to travel down to Philly, um, and two, the time to be there for this like historic like event because it is historic. Like you're gonna see these images for a long, long, long time to come. Like on my Instagram page, 
like they've already gotten like over a thousand likes like each of the images so it's lit like people still commenting people still loving the pictures and i just want to say to black menswear keep it up keep going keep pushing continue to have these flash mobs i've seen so much interest from people saying how can i be a part of this how can i be a part of this story how can i be a part of changing the narrative of how we are seen as black men like it is beautiful it's amazing so i've been talking a lot and i got hype i got on the soapbox for a good minute okay but i'm back down but yeah this is great i definitely want y'all to come to New York. So, because you know in New York, it's gonna be lit, 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 lit in New York. Um, so hopefully next year they'll come to New York. I'm sure they're gonna do other cities. So down in the description is their Instagram. Down in the description is my Instagram. Again, make sure that you like this video, comment, tell me what you think. Tell me if you if if you watched the video and you were actually there, how you felt. All right? If you wasn't there, tell me what you think about the experience and what I shared with you today. Make sure that you subscribe, make sure that you hit that bell so you get notifications when I put out a new video because my YouTube is about to be lit 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 lit. lit. And it's the wealthy guy, and I'll see you soon.